first of all, happy late new year. I'm always saying this because it's my first video of 2024. And before any of you ask, yes, this is a new mic. It was a normal day on New Year's Day until the Bendy Twitter account announced that its theme page for Bendy the Cage went up. The page contains four new images, which shows that they actually attempted to outdo the visuals of Bendy the Dark Revival and succeeded. There is also a release date of 2024 this year, which will definitely not move to 2025. Okay, I'll shut up. By the way, there are actually five images in the Steam page, but I already made a five minute video on one of the screenshots, which you can view in the description below. The first image we got is a simple shot of an environment. There are a ton of pipes going different directions, but they don't seem to be connected to the ink machine. They're probably connected to the gent factory, which is probably where we are in this screenshot since everything here looks very industrial and sci-fi related. As you can see from like, the alien look of the language at the side of this building. It is confirmed we do carry an axe in this game. It has been revealed since the announcement trailer of Bendy the Cage. But the handle of the axe looks a bit different than the one they compared in Bendy the Ink Machines. Which confirms that the axe in the game is a completely different model than the one Bendy Ink Machine has. Here in the next screenshot, we got another lost one with the same red stuff that I talked about in my last theory video. It seems like we are in the same place as the first screenshot of the lost ones, you know, the uh, super horrible teaser, but it could be another area like the sewers. By the way, I like the fact that they kept Henry's ring in this game. I think it's an excellent detail. Guess what the screenshot tells you? You can block in the game! Yes, it is confirmed by the immediately himself that we do have the ability to block while we are in combat. And this screenshot shows us what the block mechanic will look like in this game. The third screenshot takes place in a four quarter area. Again, it takes place in the same ton- I'm sorry. I can't keep my eyes off of the details on that valve. It looks so good. <laughs> Anyways, same place. But I look at the lit up words on the side and it says entry something. All I know is it says entry, that's it. It's probably entrance to a new area we haven't been before or probably the train station. In the middle, we'll see a similar guy from the Super Horrible teaser, but the guy has a weapon of some sort that I can't make out what it is. Looks like I saw on a stick, which confirms that the Lost Ones in this game are way more insane than the Lost Ones from Bending the Dark Revival. Last screenshot we got is of Sammy Lawrence himself doing a pose normal human beings would possibly do. It is confirmed he will not be getting the Vanity treatment, in context for those who hate or don't follow but with FNAF. He will have more screen time in this game than the previous two games he was in, not counting the boar spin-off that is. He seems to be the one giving us the axe since it's literally right behind him, or he'll just be wielding one himself. Unfortunately, Mike can immediately decide to kill him off in this game. Source, it was confirmed by MikeMoon on Twitter.com, not whatever that new redesign was. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Since the game might end with the ending of Bendy the Dark Revival, only in Henry's point of view and not Audrey's. So, we'll probably see the Ink Demon, but only at the final sequence of the game. That's all the news we got for Bendy the Cage at the moment. Bendy the Cage is looking fire at the time being. And I will see you next time. That was a terrible outro.